हेलो गाइस लास्ट 90 डेज मास्टर प्लान एंड फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स टू कीप इन माइंड वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट 2026 ओके गाइस नाउ यू हैव 720 आर्स इफ आई काउंट द द क्लॉक स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम टुडे I would say you have seven twenty hours. Just devote five hundred hours to your active learning and practice. And most importantly, last two twenty hours. That means in the month of January, you should de devote the entire month for comprehensive revision and rigorous mock tests. Okay, guys. Every topper admits that while appearing for gate two zero two six, he didn't know everything. Okay, he he had a good preparation, but every topper would say that I don't know everything while preparing for gate two zero two six. So it is all about studying the right things at the right time, guys. No one knows everything. Everyone has certain weak areas, but the point is that it is about studying the right things at the right time. So I would say just divide divide your time. Uh, based on the uh, on the uh, weightage okay weightage of the subjects so your c1 subject should be the high weighted subjects then your c2 subject should be the medium weighted subjects and c3 subject should be the low weighted subjects okay so firstly you should understand see every every person every aspirant knows what all subjects are highly asked what all concepts are highly asked so he should revise and study and practice those subjects first then we should go to the medium weightage and then to the third weightage and guys smart planning be Long hours. Focus on high important topics first. Okay, then yes. So I would just say structuring your seven twenty hours. First twelve to fifty hours for high weightage subject. That means thirty five percent of your time from the seven twenty hours should be given to high weightage. Then twenty one percent of your time. That means one fifty hours to medium weightage. And I would say last hundred hours should be given to the C three. That means the least important subjects. Okay. So this is how you should divide the time. And yes, in the last your last thirty percent of the time that should be given to two twenty hours should be given exclusively for mock tests. Okay. So this is the rough rough percentage. that actually i find that would be useful for you okay then now let us understand the syllabus exam pattern already you know just i'll make you revise you will be getting mcq questions and negative marking would be there msq questions would be there you would be getting a correct uh, i mean full marks only when you would be uh, taking all the options correct there is no partial marking okay and nat type we have we don't have any negative marking specifically this for nat only for nat type questions we don't have any negative marking okay then yes uh guys now let us see week by week study plan snapshot in the first week okay in the week 1 to 4 in the first month always include engineering mathematics this is very important and a very important strategy always plan your first month by including engineering mathematics in the second week i mean week 5 to 8 always begin with previous year questions whatever subjects you are doing always begin with the previous year question and in the third month you should always start with intensive revision cycles full length mock tests every weekend and simulate real conditions to build stamina speed and confidence so this should be the strategy for these last 90 days okay now yes now uh, let us uh, see uh, choosing the right study material okay guys in the last 90 days i would say quality would matter over quantity because time is less just uh, don't go for uh, the big uh, quantity of the uh, material available always focus on quality guys so i would say stick to two three high quality resources per subject rather than hoping between numerous sources okay just don't get confused i can read from here also from here also never focus on these things always always focus on uh, certain important uh, resources okay so uh, i would say depth beats breadth in gate preparation always i would say depth beat uh, beats breadth in gate preparation okay yes so now uh, the importance of practice and mock tests and guys in the last one month this is the game changer guys i would always say this is the game changer so try to solve previous year papers okay if you want to score a rank never go without solving previous year papers you will get an edge over other students and actually you would get what exactly the level they have asked then weekly mock test routine is very important at least two full length test mock test per week in the last 30 days is very important that means four to five tests should be given at least okay at least four to five tests you should give and analyze and improve thoroughly analyze every mistake immediately after each test and actually revise that the same day okay so i would say 
प्रैक्टिस डजेंट मेक्स परफेक्ट ओके परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस मेक्स परफेक्ट येस आई वुड एम एंड दिस परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ कैंडिडेट परफेक्ट सो क्वालिटी ऑफ एनालिसिस मैटर्स मोर दैन दी quality of quantity of tests okay so it is not how many tests you are given but yes how you are actually analyze that would matter more in the last 90 days okay guys uh, i would say just stay motivated and manage stress because this is the last 90 days the last hour so just don't get panic don't get rushed okay just don't get uh, stressed so just uh, be patient be calm and just do your work and yes start tracking your progress okay so daily and weekly just start tracking your progress where where uh, what are your weak areas how can you improve just be patient and just uh, move along these lines then maintain a balance right you should always take short breaks and you should always indulge in physical activities okay so uh, in the last 90 days it requires a, a bit of refreshments also i know you are giving a long hours okay long study hours but still you require short breaks and i would say build your support system just uh, join peer groups or online forums or mentorship sessions such as uh, gfg provides you mentorship sessions so just join those ask to teachers okay connect with them and they would and your uh, yeah strategy would actually improve and your preparation would also be streamlined okay guys uh, yes uh i would say that uh, what is your road to uh, road to success that is the smart study as i said prioritize the important subjects okay then uh, the plan which you have made no just follow that plan okay as you are guiding road map and yes the most important is stay consistent because daily discipline compounds into the extraordinary results so stay consistent for the last 90 days okay i request everyone you have to stay consistent so what is the success formula consistency plus practice plus revision that would give you a great success that would give you a rank under 100 okay so journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step remember and your gate 2026 success story starts today okay so just believe in yourself trust the process and yes take the first step for your last 90 days okay thank you so much guys and all the very best thank you so much